Uh, yeah, it is a weird year having um, a World Championships and a Commonwealth Games um, and sort of being in the middle of that preparation now. Um, it took my body a little bit of time to recover um, after such a major meet like the World Championships. But, you know, to be here in France, um, you know, great weather, um, you know, my body's really just coming back up um, and it's about, you know, finding that rhythm um, and resetting was the biggest thing to go again for Com, Com Games. Uh, yeah, Worlds was an awesome result for me, um, winning my first world title. Um, but I think, um, if anything, it's really just sort of a confidence spank moving forward. Um, I really want to draw upon that as I, you know, approach these next few weeks heading into the, Com into the Commonwealth Games um, and really use that to my advantage um, and not sort of see it as a pressure. Yeah, so here in France, um, we've actually sort of started back into our, you know, main sets. Dean likes to say we're at about 80% of our normal main sets. Um, it's pretty hard to go straight back to 100%. So um, we're doing main sets at the moment. Um, and then, you know, about a week and a half, two weeks out, we'll slowly start to taper off um, as we head into Birmingham. Yeah, for sure. The Commonwealth Games um, has such a special place in my heart. It was the first... Uh, senior Australian team I ever made um, and on my hometown in the Gold Coast so they're actually some of the best memories I have in swimming um, so I'm really looking forward to you know Birmingham and you know what England can offer um, but anytime you put on the green and gold and represent Australia it's an honour um, and you have to pinch yourself and I'm lucky I get to do it twice this year. Another 24. 28-1. Energy up. Another 24. Come on, guys. 